Oh my god, I am so cold. Okay. I am so cold. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening, guys. I am just here to come and say to you guys good night. I'm just here to come and say good night to y'all. Y'all, you know. Hey, bro. I'm Johnny, bro. It's a horrible idea for me to park here because I'm squeezing in between the wall and the bike. Okay, no, this is fine. Okay. We are home. I'm going to sleep. Literally. That's all. Hi, pretty, pretty boy, 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 boy. Hi, pretty, pretty boy. Hi, pretty, pretty boy. Hi, pretty, pretty, pretty. Hi, pretty, pretty, pretty. Hi, pretty, pretty, pretty. You guys wanna see how it is? Hi, pretty, pretty. Hi, pretty, pretty, pretty. Hi, pretty, 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 pretty. Hi, guys, Benny is jumping up and down. Oh, look at my boy. Hi, Benny, boy. Hi, Benny. Hi, Benny. Hi, Benny. Hi, Benny. I'm ready to go. Okay, so I'm Benny. Let me get out. Guys, Benny makes my day. Benny, 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 Benny. I'm Benny, Benny. Benny, 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 Benny. I'm Benny, 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 Benny. I'm Benny, 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 Benny. I'm Benny, boy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Say hello. No, don't lick my face. Don't lick my face. I'm gonna have a lick reaction. Okay, I'm um, dirty. Hi, very, 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 very. Okay, guys, bye. Guys, he doesn't wanna get out. Benny, let's get out. Come, jump. Thank you. 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 I am so cold. Too too cold. Okay guys. Um I think I wanna see you guys tomorrow. Guys, I think it's eleven o'clock. I'm only sleeping now. Oh yeah, but then Oh shit. Okay, so Yo guys, it's eleven o'clock and I'm still wearing my scrubs. Um, and I still want to shower. So I wanted to talk to you guys while I prep myself for the night. The night is still young. So, first things first, I've been sitting there, chilling in the living room, wondering what is the one thing that I'm super, super grateful for in my life. Um, from the beginning of yo from the beginning of it's in my pocket oh from the beginning of this year till now we are in july i think what's the month today yeah it's july and we are basically we are done with the year for as long as like we're in july 
we are done with the year. Now, what is the one thing that you feel for him? You're grateful to God for that maybe you thought you'd actually never overcome the thing, if that makes sense. So I'll start. <laughs> as, as, as a woman, as, as, as a human being, <laughs> as a human being, guys, I feel like you I've went through everything that I never thought I'd actually go through and I have overcome the battle. I have overcome all the battles. Hold on, let me And I have overcome all the battles. Now, what do I really think I'm grateful to God for? I think I'm grateful to God for His love, His mercy in my life. And a lot of things that he has actually protected me from. I'm grateful because God has actually sustained um, my spirit of discernment. He has sustained it so much to the point where I feel like had it not been for him sustaining my discernment meaning giving me the it's not easy discerning on everything that happens in your life ne? it really isn't easy having to learn to discern upon everything that is happening in your life the thing is with discernment you need to learn to be patient you need to learn to be patient because with discernment comes you having to wait for a lot of things to unfold and regardless of how long those things take you just regardless have to wait right so but then with how things have been unfolding and my laugh okay i'm just really glad that god managed to to sustain the spirit of discernment in my life because had it not been for that guys let me tell you something i feel like ngabe gets an annoying or ngabe modimo angkopote anzaya I'll come my daughter come and be with me because i don't think had it not been for the discernment that i believe i have right i, I honestly really 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 from the bottom of my heart don't think that i would i would have overcome a lot of things that i've been through in my life let alone this year i'm not even going to talk about the previous year i'm not going to talk about that shit i'm over that and i already did say my part about the appreciation part of of the things that i've been through that i feel like god wanted me to go through in the past years challenging there's nothing that was not challenging <laughs> i feel like everything that comes to me comes as a challenge that's why that's why i think i did also mention to you guys the other day that on my youtube video one of the youtube videos i was walking on campus i remember but i was telling you guys how how angry i was with god okay so my friend came over to my house um last month yes the beginning of june she came over to my house and we had a lot of um sit down chit chats every time i'd come back from campus and i'd we just sit down and talk about so many things right yo guys my skin looks so ashy we'd sit down and talk about so many things and there were a lot of realizations within all of that you know so so sorry about that i was talking about how there are a lot of things that I realized when my friend and I were talking for that whole week she, she visited me the entire week slightly before exam started I think like a few days just before exam started she was there and then we we're just talking about how discernment actually saved me from a lot of things discernment saved me from a lot of things and I normally tell them that I, I normally tell my friend and the people that know me that I never ever 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 in my life ever feel the need to react out of anger because even i've never done it before and that's because 
I don't trust myself when I am angry because I don't trust myself. Sometimes the thing is like, it's like, it's like, and I'm just like, Marcus, I'm like, I'm sure, I'm sure that it's like, it's like, it's like, but yeah, I think I should, I should get into more detail about what exactly I mean by that, but it's going to need me to actually be in my feels and be ready to talk about it on the internet because the internet is a very cruel place and i never really want to overshare anything on the internet and that is only because with the internet you say something and it stays there even though you decide to delete it some someday whenever it will definitely stay there you know so yeah so i'm grateful to god for the spirit of discernment and i was saying Jorge, um, I was talking to, I was saying it on the vlog and I was also talking to her that waiting that time, that time, that period, I was so angry at God. You, I was so angry. The beginning of June, 2024, I was so angry with God because I was wondering, bruh, what is going on? What's wrong? Why, 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 why are things not going the way I anticipated them to go? Why, why, why? I had so many questions, right? But within me having so many questions for god i never really got the answers because i think <laughs> i think god has shown me the way and the route in which i should take but i can't and i can't and i don't want to i'm gonna tell you guys something as well so there was a period in my life when i was just tired i was just tired of everything and everyone around me right Hey, like say that prayer, yeah. God, please get rid of anybody that is fucking not good for me. I need you to get rid of each and every person that is not good for me. That is a prayer that God answers within 0.5 seconds. He does not waste time with that prayer. He will answer that prayer within 0.5 seconds. And let me tell you why. It's because some of the things that God wants to release in your life, he needs some people to be absent. Now, because you're holding on to certain stuff and certain people um he cannot necessarily release whatever that he wants to release in your life because that is going to be a disruption um so i i i i, I prayed that prayer and can i tell you when i prayed that prayer everything just was messed up like my love was messed up and then i was like wait 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 I am not ready for this one. Like I'm I'm genuinely not ready for what I see you doing, you know. I'm hey, I was not ready. I was like, yeah, 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 bruh, wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I wanna say I'm not ready for it. So just hold on. I'm not ready for it. So just hold on. That has held back a lot of things in my life of which I think I should have had progress with me having to stop that prayer me having to basically tell him wait 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 cut cut the crap cut the crap cut the crap it has stopped a lot of things it has stopped a lot of things and i feel like even even some days when i pray to god about certain stuff he's just like to me that's the only way that's the only way i can't do anything you know what you should do that's the only way hi guys but otherwise i just want to say 2024 was uh, okay it wasn't as hectic as 22 and 23 but 2024 so far has been a relatively okay yeah um the first six months were really good for me i was focused on one thing and that was literally my academics i've been focusing on my academics and i think and i think yeah this is where I am. But I think you guys can see, you guys can tell that I'm really, really generally very exhausted. Like, I'm exhausted. I'm emotionally exhausted. I'm emotionally drained. Like, I'm emotional. It's not even It's not even a physical drainage or physical fatigue. I'm emotionally tired. 
I am tired. My body is shutting down, literally. You know, it's actually not my body. My soul is shutting down. My soul is leaving my body. But yeah, those are the two things that I'm really grateful to God for. The thing is, I'm grateful to God that he has showed me what I should do, right? And I'm grateful to God for the spirit of discernment that I've had from such a very young age. From a very young age. Nikki Blala Lim OC just now that you know ish now it's Mudimu Angrata Mudimu Mudimu has made me his favorite child. And I I don't see that. But when I sit down and reintrospect my life, I see why men. Men, 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 I dodged the bullet here. I dodged the bullet here and that's fine. That's okay. You know? Thank you for coming to my TED Talk, guys. I'm really done. I, I feel a lot better. I wanted to just release that from my heart. Get it out and hand it over to you guys. With that information, do as you please. So, yeah. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. And I'll see you guys on my next video, which is tomorrow. Please comment down below. A blue heart. And until then... I'm going to go take my shower as drained as I am. <laughs>